Rock and roll, blues, folk, boogie woogie. These are the common foundations for the ever-expanding spawn of musical genres played with the guitar and drums. We will explore a sub-genre of music that is mysterious and juvenile to regular folk. The music comes from a band called Whoopie Cushion. You know, a lot of people don't understand our music. They can't handle it. They're always like, why don't you play in a key? Or, you know, like, follow a rhythm or like you shot me with a paintball gun during one of your shows. Whippy Cushion consists of just three musicians, a guitarist, a pianist, and a bassist. The bassist cannot see or hear very well due to a firework related accident just three weeks prior to our encounter. Uh, what's up? Many have criticized the band for not letting the bass actually plug his instrument in. Psychologists say music is a common outlet for one's attempts to achieve individuality. I am the genius of the group. I put together the songs. Sometimes after a show, I'll bring a lady up here, yeah. I uh, play the show, try to do my best. See if anyone's in, interested, I guess, in what I had to say musically as a person, you know. See if I did my best that night, kind of uh, reflects, you know. Not in a way that artistically or anything like that, but as a man, yeah. One may try to escape the labels of society, jumping desperately between subcultures, worrying whether it's too weird or phony. You guys even check the door? What the f is that? Many bands attempt to live together, with at least one member pursuing the band's success full time and no stable income. Bands such as these are destined to lose housing. In this case, Whoopi Cushion has been threatened with an eviction notice and must now do something about it before it's too late. That is not enough money. Um, you might actually have to play a real show. Whatever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Leader doesn't call shotgun. One time after one of our shows, this girl came up to us and she was just like, Man, you guys are just god fing awful. And I said, Mom, no one invited you anyway. Are you watching it? Blind? Mostly. Is it no, it's right, right here. Right again. They're there, yeah. Keyboard player is definitely there. He does a good job. For what he is, he does a good job. Um, he's not going to win any awards, but he does okay. Um, the bass player, he hasn't been there for weeks. All right, now it's a very tight right. Don't go all the way to the stop sign. That's the red one down there. You want to pull in somewhere. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Are we here? Yes, yes, we're here. You did a good job. Cool, thank you. Compared to shit. Looks like they knew you guys were coming. Wake up, sheeple, alright? This is music. It's... 2016, really? It's 2016, alright? This is where music is going. Rival bands are common in small communities. When fan bases are small and passions are high, rivalries are almost inevitable. 
So my friend told me I would really like Whoopee Cushion because I'm a big fan of fish. I've been a fish head since the 80s. What the f***? Fish is garbage compared to Whoopee Cushion. Fish thought they were experimental. They thought they were cool and they were doing something new. Whoopee Cushion is post music. They're taking music and just turning it on upside down on its head. And this party's f crazy, by the way. I, somebody told me also like explosions in the sky and there's like this this other band like uh, Shipwreck Carpathos and they're all like oh they're really good and they're ambient but <sighs> Whoopi Cushion seriously takes all of that and it condenses it down into a ball of like the best truffle chocolate you've ever had and then it injects that with like 14 orgasms that you have for your mouth and then you eat it and it's just like you're eating the whole band at one time. If you're a cannibal and you're into that kind of thing, I guess. If you had orgasms from eating other people and you could eat however many people were in the band, I, I wasn't really counting, all at one time and have an orgasm from that, that's pretty much what my experience was like. It was f incredible. Cheers, fellas. I'll always keep a couple of you in the band because I'll always know that I'm better. And that will be enough for me. Thanks for doing a mediocre job. Whoopi Cushion isn't just local music. They're changing the no, landscape. My point is, you talk about it all the time. It's just like, whatever. What else do you want me to talk about? Maybe whoopee cushion. Maybe, maybe politics. Maybe something politics. relevant. If those Not, were relevant things, man, whoopee cushion. Best thing to come out of Fountain Square. God. I've seen them 13 different times, and every time they bring it. Where? Bring it. Where have you seen them 13 times? Most passionate Maybe. performance I've ever seen. I saw them in Market Square Arena. Mother. That's shit was a tight show. Sometimes a girl. We'll see a great show. She doesn't care, you know. But sometimes in a show, you know, take your shirt off, get a little bit weird. Yeah, oh yeah. They care. They care more than if you're playing good notes. That's for sure. That's for sure. Who inspires me? Um, definitely Mar Martin Luther King, um, the Pope, Diane Keaton, Susan Sarandon. Um, the Beatles, of course. Not the band, you know, the, the bugs in my room. They're just so small living in this big world, you know. Um, ourselves. Look out, Michael Jackson. You're not the best thing to come out of Indiana anymore. There's Whoopi Cushion. Yo, Ellen Keller, wake up. How did we do last night? Um, we made thirty-four dollars and twenty-eight cents. Did you hear it or count it? Because it seems like you just dropped it on the floor and then. I like, I'm it's I'm pretty sure it's seventy-eight, man. Is that like a Rain Man type thing? I think yeah. Thirty-four dollars and what? Seventy-nine cents? Seventy-eight. Seventy-eight. That's not so even. That's three and a half people. Well, you know who's working the door? Albert Einstein himself. What do we do now? I say we take it to the streets. <clears throat> you mean like Panhandle? Yeah. It's better than selling out. It's a beautiful day. That could work. Wait, hold on. This is like the most money we've ever made. We should do this for real. Like, wasting all our time playing in clubs. We'd be on the street. We'd be on a street tour. We'll be this street band. You're welcome. With all their options expired, the band was left with no choice but to start panhandling on the streets. The band toured through Columbus and to Cleveland, 
Two weeks later, they were arrested in Cleveland and charged with aggressive panhandling for their equipment was blocking pedestrian traffic to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame.